Welcome back to the Side of Havoc here, and we are back playing a little Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. And today, we've got some fun stuff planned. I've got one major accomplishment I want to get done, and then I've got one kind of side project that I want to get started and possibly get done today, and I'll kind of show you why in just a moment. So, obviously, we finished Alpha in the last section, or in the last episode, and that is totally complete, and that makes me a happy, happy camper. But I started looking, and I realized we are really, really darn close to finishing Beta. Now, Beta is actually very, very reachable, and we can do it today, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm positive. We can do it today, right? So, we've got to get this Ring of Odin, which I actually... Uh, was reading about and then got confirmation from one of you guys that those dice that I got while killing the Gaia Guardian is how I get that ring. And if I read correctly, it basically says once you have one soul bound to you, then you won't get it again. So guess what? I took the time to fight the Gaia Guardian six different times. And oh, you know what? I didn't even show you the new setup. Um, it is going to change. This is just temporary. But basically, I created a lake around the thing itself. And then I sit in my little cave right here and he just keeps landing right here. And then I can keep beating up on him. And then I put spikes up here just in case he wanted to land up here. I don't know if it does damage, but I know it pushes him off of it. So yeah, so the spikes are there. And then this is basically just so I can get back and forth really quickly and not have to fly over there every time. I just happen to use the portal guns to do portals. But yeah, so I've got these six dice. Now these dice are supposed to give me the little specific items from uh, Batania. So let us see. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm donating and I don't want to donate yet. So let's see. Boop. I got the eye of the flugel. What does that do? Um, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. I've got the key of King's law. I don't know what that does, but we're going to find out the ring of Odin. That's the one we needed, right? I don't know what this does, but, uh, ring slot, uh, to the bottom of the minute. We're going to read about these. We're going to read about these in just a minute. There it goes. Quest of Ring of Odin. Got it. Uh, the Ring of Thor. And now I should get the last two. The Dice of... Oh, I got nothing. Oh. The Dice lands on four. It seems to vanish into thin air afterwards. Okay. That, that could have... I could have possibly not gotten the Ring of Odin. Apparently, each number is assigned to one of these, I'm thinking. And since I already got them, I got nothing for it. But let's go grab our book for a Britannia and find out what some of these do and see if it's worth putting them on. So I think this is, yep, that's my Britannia book. All right, so uh, baubles and accessories. Let's see what we got here. We got, um, I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's not considered ringing a bobble. Um, miscellaneous. Nope. Let's go to the index. So, Ring of Odin. Here we go. So, Ring of Odin. Uh, one of the three mystic rings, we got two of them apparently, of Asir. The Ring of Odin grants us where the vitality and resistance of the god, uh, elder god of Odin, as well as addition of 10 extra hearts of health. The Ring of Odin protects the wearer from various kinds of elemental damage, such as drowning, suffocation, fire, or starvation. Oh. <gasps> The ring can also be combined with other two rings of SR2 in crafting to create the ultimate ring. Oh my goodness. Hold on. What's Ring of Thor do then? That's just crazy. Uh, ring of Thor. Uh, one of the three mystic rings of SR. Uh, ring of Thor, when worn, bestows upon the wearer the might of the thunder god Thor. This power just drastically increases the strength of area of effect mining with the tariff shot. Okay, I don't use that. Uh, the ring can be combined with the other two. Yes, to make the ultimate ring. And then what's the other one? I kind of want to go fight the guy guard and get the other one. But let's see. What baubles do I have in? Um, can I take you out? Can I put you there? Will you go there? Nope. You're going to want to go in one of these, aren't you? Um, you know what? We'll go ahead and put you there. Ring of Odin. So this should prevent starvation and a full another rack of hearts. Oh, that's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. I kind of want to go to the mining world real quick just to test out the whole starvation aspect because I can drain it with uh, 
vein miner like really really quickly so we're gonna go vein mine up some stuff just to test this out oh that other ring gave me night vision um i might take off my mana my mana ring we'll see so let's see go 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 Okay, so it doesn't refill my health, but it does prevent the starvation damage. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, not necessarily something I'm going to need right now, but that's really cool. The ultimate ring sounds like it might... Oh, no, you know what? This is the one that gives me my night vision, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one that gives me my night vision. So, I don't know. I, I don't know which one I, I deem more worthwhile. Collecting mana as I'm walking around. Or, uh, you know, not taking any type of those other damage. I don't know. That's interesting. Ah, uh, choices, choices, choices. I don't know. For right now, I'm going to choose against it and keep my matter. You know, it's just you kind of stick to what you know. And yeah, and now I'm taking starvation damage. Um, you know, I like to stick with what I know. And I know my mana. And so I'm going to put the other rings in here. But I do want to find out about these other two that I got to see if they're cool and nifty too. So we're going to go ahead and put the rings away in here for right now. And we need the Eye of the Flugel and the Key of King's Law. So, oh, I just put the book back. Gosh darn it. So we're going to find out about that. And then, yes, we are going to knock out some awesome Batania stuff today. Give my book back. Give me my book. There we go. All right. So King... Key of King's Law. Key of King's Law is a powerful relic with the ability to materialize weapons at command. Holding right click with this key will summon a plethora of varied weapons from somewhere. Up to 20 weapons can be created at once. Releasing the grip on the key will launch all the weapons at one time where the summoner is looking at. At high speed, these weapons will create an explosion on contact. You're kidding me. Hold on. Let me, well, you know what? Let me, let me just show you while we're doing that. I, I don't want to waste this cobble while I'm at it. I did set up a new cobble creator. It is interesting. I don't know if I'm a hundred percent. I don't know. I've tried the, um, the open blocks or whatever it is. The, the ones I normally use, I forget what they're called at the moment, um, to pull from here. I've tried the item conduit and now I'm trying some warped item duct to see how it works. It seems to be pretty good. Uh, I literally had zero of those about seven or eight minutes ago, right before I started recording. So it seems to be pumping quite a few in. You can see a ton of cobble shooting in here every now and then. So I think it might be worthwhile. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about it, but for right now it's working. And yeah, so I just, I wanted to dump that cobble in here. So I thought this would be a good time to kind of show the new setup. So basically I've got these uh, pumping out from here and here, and it's just constant stacks shooting out of there really, really quickly. Now I did run into a problem. As you can see, I've got the two windmills here and it gets really, really loud between all these steaming up and whatnot. And I'm, oh, I'm running out of power. So I'm going to have to start making more power which was the other part of today's episode but i was draining these things completely when i added these modifiers i think it's in one of these i'm gonna take them all out i took them all out i made some crafting tables or crafters from ender io and threw them in these slots right here and what it does is it automatically cracks these into compressed and then i added another one and it would be double compressed added another one it'd be triple compressed so what this thing was doing was actually pulling out triple compressed to this and kind of speeding up the process, but it was draining all my energy and I don't know if these are crafting faster than the compactor was. So I kind of decided to take them out because well, the energy storage issue was kind of major. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. And now put that back, we are getting into what's today's episode all about. And that is this section right here. The first thing we are going to make right now is the Master Infusion Stone. Because, well, we need to make it to make Imperio. And Imperio is going to help us get the last two items. So if I remember correctly, I think I put everything I need in this chest. Let's bring up the recipe for the Master in, uh, Master Stone. So it's one Nether Star. It is a block of Zavikio, a Mana Pearl, 
compressed Gaia, compressed uh, Dragonstone, compressed Mana Diamond, blo or not compressed, but block of Mana Diamond, block of Element, and block of Mana Steel. So basically, we're going to need nine of these. I think this is Dragonstone, yeah. And see, I've already got it sorted out to nine. Nine of those. I'm going to need nine Terra Steel. Oh, actually, I'm going to need 16 Terra, 18 Terra Steel because I need to wrap them in the Gaia. No, it's 16. Four per, right? Yeah. Hold on. Is that right? Nine times four is 36. Oh, no. Yeah, I need more. Um, one, two, three, four. There we go. Sorry, my mouse has been funny. So that's that, that, that. The Zavikio is over there. The Nether Star is over there. Um, so I've got you, got you. Oh, yeah, let me grab that Mana Pearl. Like that. And come on. There we go. So Nether Star. Mana Steel, got it. Terra Steel, got it. Block of Elementium. That's the one I need. One, two, three. Put you back. All right, block of elementium we've got. Uh, mana diamond, I need nine. There's six, seven, eight, nine. All right, got you. Uh, Dragonstone, got you. Compressed Gaia, got that, got that. And now we just need the Zavikio and the Nether Star, and we are all over this. Oh, I'm so excited to be making progress. If I finish Bravo today or Beta today, that would be awesome. As you see, I'm just making the servos. I was literally doing that just before the episode started. Um, okay. There. My mouse has been funny lately. I don't know what's going on with it. Block of Elementium. Block of Dragonstone. Block of Mana Steel. Block of Mana Diamond. Block of Terra Steel. Gaia Spirit, Compressed Gaia, and now we need the Zavikio. Oh, look at that. It's right there. Perfect. Oh, you know what? It's Compressed Zavikio, so I need to make nine of these. So there's seven, eight, nine. Clear that out, and now the compressed, like that. Got it, mass block. That, and then the nether star. Yes, I I was prepped and ready for today's episode. Finally, everything's gonna come together perfectly because it's about time, that's why. Okay, so you, oh darn it, there we go. You go in there, you, 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 you. You, 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 and you. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's doing its thing. I don't know how long it's going to take. It says it's not ready. Do I need living stone? Oh, I've got one rock. Okay. Why can't... Why? Why is it giving me the red X? That's everything. Do you not have enough power? No, you got mana. So why is this not working? It knows the recipe. It's got everything it needs. Oh, it is going. Oh, I just saw the dial. It is going. All right, awesome. So it's just not done yet is what it's saying. I don't even think that living rock is actually necessary. All right, so I'm going to pause right here and wait for it to finish. And I'll be right back once that dial gets to close to 100%. We'll be right back. All right, so we're almost done. Apparently, it uses a lot of bit of mana because I had to come and stand on this flower to keep supplying the mana spreader to keep supplying this guy. Oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. I, 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 big, this, this feels like a big accomplishment because this is like endgame for Batania right here. Being able to make the Imperio is pretty darn endgame, I think. Oh, you got the stone up there already? Got it. Oh, yeah. Now we can make, oh, look at that Master Fusion Stone. Awesome. So first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is make up some of the, uh, what is it called? Oh, Zavikia right there. So we'll just throw this in my inventory. Um, I need my Halo. 
because why not, right? And let's create this recipe with the halo right here. So you, oh, not you. You, come on, you in the middle. I'm assuming it's like the other recipes. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming it is. There we go. And then now we can put it right here. Wait, I can't tell. You're over there, so we'll put you over here. There we go. So now it should auto craft. Right? Oh, I got to take that out of my hand. There it goes. Bam! And we've got Temperio. Temperio? Temperio. Awesome. We are just knocking it out. And I have a feeling with that, I can now make my ultimate furnace, right? Let's... I have to grab this guy. Oh, careful. Turn my magnet back on. All right. And this guy. And now I should be able to make the ultimate furnace. Right there. Like so. And that achievement is done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And let's go ahead and collect some of these real quick. Oh, my gosh. It's been a productive episode. I like when it's productive. I try really hard to organize and get all the stuff ready to go and be on top of my game. And then, you know what? I just mess up all the time and I forget stuff and I'm missing stuff. So we're down to two things for beta. Now this one, I'm just kind of ignoring because it's actually really simple just to make all these little carrot seeds. Uh, four carrot, six carrot, eight carrot, 12 carrot, and I think it's 16 up to 24. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna make those uh, probably pretty quickly. But the other part of today I wanna make is nether star seeds. Not because I need them right now or anything, but because I will need them eventually and might as well just, you know, make them now. So let's see how fast this guy block of coal. Give me something smeltable like cobble. Do I have any cobble left in my system? I do. All right. Let's see how fast this guy is. This takes two furnaces to, I mean, this should be super fast. It's not bad. I think that's pretty quick. It's, I mean, it's not quite as fast as the redstone furnace, but it's still pretty quick. I like it. I think it's good. Um, let's make these hearts real quick and just yummy num those up. Give myself more lives. Now we're up to 11. Um, let's go ahead and put the lucky blocks or chance cubes away. And what else can I put away right now? I don't need the Zaviki or the Imperio at the moment. I don't need the storage upgrades or any of that. Let's open up some loot chests while we're just standing here. Um, arrow. Ooh, maximum speed. Erebus speedboat. Ooh, hold on. Let's, is this thing cool? Okay, it's got a durability, but it's pretty fast. But it's just regular arrows. It's nothing too special there. I think my crossbow kind of kicks its little rear end. But that's cool. That's something new that I've never gotten before. Lubricant bedrock and drum. I've gotten that before. A beacon. A draconic chest. That might be the freaking steal of the game right there. Uh, okay. If you guys don't know anything about the draconic chest, I hope you do. But if you don't, I want to demonstrate this thing real quick. Um, I need a conduit real quick because I got to thinking of something I wanted to do. Since I stand around here and do a lot of work in this immediate area... I wanted to do this. I believe I can do it right here. Yes. <laughs> and I can just go boop like that. And then anytime I need something that needs power, I can just plop it on there. So check this chest out. First of all, this chest is absolutely enormous. But not only is it enormous, you can craft in it. Not only can you craft in it, it can smelt up to five items at a time. So check this out. Right? And then all I got to do is say, fill. Auto feed. Disable auto feed. Off. Okay. Um, fill. Pull any. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pull any smeltable item in. And then it it should work. Why aren't you smelting my cobblestone? You've got power. What's this right here? Oh, there we go. 
and it just auto smelts. And as soon as it pops out five, it freaking puts another one in. It's doing 10 at a time right now. That is freaking awesome. So that's pretty quick. That is pretty quick to do 10 at a time. So what I can do is I can start, let me grab um, one of these real quick. Oh no, you know what? I've got them right there. Just to put it over here so you can't see that. There we go. And so anytime I need to work on stuff, I can just plop stuff right down there. But this is awesome. I love the draconic chest with like a passion. Like it is freaking amazing. And to get that in a chest is just, oh, I was not expecting that. I didn't even know that was a chest item. So that just became that much cooler. Where did my, oh, there's my wand. Where's it? Oh, the halos go up there. Okay. And now I've got you in there. Oh, awesome. 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 Let me grab you guys so I can reorganize my chest. There we go. Or my my bag oh my gosh i was so not expecting that all right anyways time to move on because today we are going to do our uh nether seeds as well like i say we're going to need them eventually so might as well get them going now so what we need is uh first the skeleton seeds and they are these ones right here so i'm gonna need four skeleton heads and four imperial essence with menincio seeds okay that's easy then I'm going to need four Temporeo with four Wither and the Skeleton Seeds. And then these make this guy, the Wither Skeleton, or the um, Nether Star Seeds. And that's going to be with Temperio Essence Blocks. And, oh, I thought these were, oh, no, I thought these were Nether Stars. These are Spirit Binders. Oh, I think I can do that. Um, I need four of these, so that means I need 12 S. I've got the 12 guys spirits. I forgot. Okay, we're good there. We are good there. All right. Let get, let's get going on that. So first thing I'm going to do is go get some seeds. Cause, well, actually, I should just grab everything from there. Um, I'm going to put these keys back, and I forget what those did already. And I never looked up the eye of the flugel. Oh my gosh, because I'm so excited about everything. I'm just like, oh, all over the place. Okay, so I know I'm going to need 12 of these. Okay, yes. So I can make those things. And everything else should be okay. Okay. So we need four skeleton heads. Four wither skeleton heads. And then we need four of those uh, bindings. Okay, cool. So let's grab... Let's make these up real quick. Um... These are used to make these. There we go. I can make three. You're, I, I don't have enough ectoplasm, do I? Tell me ectoplasm is not what I'm short on. No, 71. Four, eight. Two, oh, I need four more of the Gaia. Man. Can't, geez, I can't count, right? I need 16, not 12. That's easy, though. We've got this. We've got this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm so excited because first of all, if I can start making nether or, um, yeah, the nether seeds so I can start making nether stars, I know that's going to be uh, useful when I get to, I forget the name of it in here. It's the equivalent exchange, um, project E. Once I get to project E, that will be, uh, outstanding. So, um, nether seeds right there. You, what do you, what are you doing? Nether seeds. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I got the four of those. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my four there and my halo. And we're just going to pump out a whole bunch of uh, temporio because I'm going to need nine times four. I'm going to need 36 of those. So let's just start making them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish making all this Temperio up because there's no reason to do this on camera. And then once I'm done with the Temperio, I'm going to grab everything else we need. And we are going to go make these nether seeds and oh, good things. Good things are happening. I am so excited. All right. We will be right back. All right, travelers. So we are back and we've got it all. We have our skeleton seeds with our Imperio. We have our one, two, three, four. We have our weather seeds with our Temporio. And now I just need to make up our four blocks of Temporio Essence. And that is going with our four of these. And then we need one Nether Star. 
and I'm out of nether stars. Is there, I think there's a recipe which seems super simple, but I think I can do it. I don't know if I have a diamond sword. Oh, I do. That seems almost peaceful mode only. Ah, uh, I was like, that seemed almost too easy. Um, so we're going to have to go fight the wither one time. I happen to have three wither heads and some soul sand. So we'll probably just go to the mining world or something like that and go check that out. But let's get the other. No, let's just get it all done at one time. Let's just get them all done at one time. Let us go to where would be a good place to take on the wither. I guess I've killed it in one shot, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> let's go kill the wither on Mars. No, Mercury. That's Mercury, right? Yeah, let's go kill the the wither on Mercury. We're already down by the bedrock, so that's kind of good. Um, so he's not going to do too much damage anyways. Uh, let's get this stuff out of the way. You, you. All right. One, two, three, four. I don't even remember the last time I fought the wither. All right. And as soon as he's ready to go, we are going to take him down. I did move uh, my pedestal over into a tunnel over there because I realized I kept hopping on here and like a ton of mobs kept showing up and so obviously that's not what I wanted and so I went and actually kind of hit it did I get it five nether stars how did I get five nether stars did I that can't be right I do you get five for killing it in this pack I didn't have four on me, did I? That is weird. That is truly, truly weird. But I did some work in here, as you can see. I don't remember if I did this on camera when I was looking for the mercury, but... Oh, no, I didn't. I only got a couple pieces and ran away. I did some work trying to find that mercury ore, so I got tons of it now. Um, all right, so we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead and just put this away, uh, Menencio away the heart away where did my other four wither skeleton skulls go i had what's going on here i had four there and i used three and it did it turn some of them into infinity booster card cool um nether stars Hold on. Oh, no. They're right there. That's really weird. That is so weird. I got five. I don't know how that's even possible. I, I'm i very confused right now. But I'm not so confused that it's really going to bother me. All right. Cool. So let us grab ourselves a Menincio seed. And let's turn my magnet off. And so it should be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one Menincio seed. And I have to stand on these flowers and let them drain my mana. Or not my mana, but my XP. Alright, so these shouldn't take too long. And then I'll get the skeleton ones, get the skeleton to make the wither skeleton, and these are going pretty quick. And then we'll get the nether seeds, and that'll be another achievement done. And I realized, as I was making the temporillo, it takes a long time just to get a little bit... It took me almost 10 minutes just to get 40 of them so it's about four a minute oh i need more living rock i need living rock for this oh uh, man dream was definitely not gonna work let me go grab some stone good grief i didn't think i was gonna need the living rock for the seeds but you know whatever stone i just made ha i just made a whole bunch whoa it kept cooking them Oh, man. Only pull the current smelting on front. That I need to remember to do. It turned all that stone into these circuit plates. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Oh, goodness. But I still got stone. Okay, cool. So we'll go make some living rock. I guess it's like uh, a recursive uh, smelting if you do that. So that's definitely not what I want to do, but it's okay. Let's just make up a whole bunch of these real quick. 
I don't like how it goes all the way to the edge, but it's just kind of how I built it when I put this place together. And so it's just going to be that way for right now. That just looks so funny like that. But, oh, that's going to be... Man, I can't even freaking... <laughs> Nothing's working right right now. I can't do uh, vein mining or it'll uh, vein mine those up too. There we go. Once this corner one goes, I can vein mine the rest. There we go. Yeah, because you're not attached there. And you guys. All right, cool. So let us grab our wandy wand. Like so. Turn my magnet back off. Uh, or I guess I could just put it on there. Like so. And skeleton seeds. Got them. All right, cool. Now, skeleton seeds with four wither heads and four of these spirit binders. Oh, no, not spirit binders. Um, I needed the temperio. Hey, put that back on there. Oh, my gosh. Things are just not working. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. I need you. Like that. There we go. And you're doing your thing. Awesome. Then we'll have our willow skeleton seeds, and then we'll be able to just make unlimited nether stars. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to spend so much time 10, 10, tending these things. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I realized I'm going to need a ton of Temporillo because I was looking at some of the things uh, for what it was used for. And as soon as I did that, I was like, okay, well, it makes that. But it also makes these um, uh, demon steel of blank magnitude. And I say blank and you'll see why in a second. We take some diamond powder and then one Temporillo essence to make that. But then it takes three of these to make level two three level twos to make level three and you kind of see where this is going but you'll start seeing things that i want to make like a cyanide reprocessor not right now but eventually but to get to like the um draconic evolution stuff i need uh level five and then level six i was at level seven i'm trying to remember which one was that. this is the one we want to get we want to get to the philosopher's stone and to do that we need uh demon steel of the eighth magnitude so that's going to take a minute so I am going to go ahead and already start mass producing the Temporillo. So, yeah, just wanted to point that out. So obviously I'm going to take my time to, um, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but thank you. I'm going to take my time uh, setting up a mass production of those and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I think if I just pump them into a chest, it should be okay. Um, so you go, you go you go and we are about to have nether seeds how long how long is this one going to take okay this one's going to take a minute so i'm going to break right here wait for this guy to finish up because you see i literally just have to stand on this flower and let it keep taking my experience so i can keep filling the mana spreader up to get it going so anyways we will be back shortly all right so we're just about there i had to go back and refill on levels over at my mob farm before i could finish this but we are just about there and done you go up there and bam and now we have nether seeds oh let's look at it let's look at it. this is so pretty oh it's almost done and claim did i get anything cool from you give me something cool give me something cool Two printed circuit boards. I'm sure I'll need those eventually for pneumatic craft, but oh, I am so excited right now. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I told you, I was prepped and ready for this episode. So, one thing we are going to need, as a matter of fact, let me go put um, this living stone back. There we go. We are gonna need something to actually grow the nether stars because they don't grow quite normally can't just plant them and hope for good things they oops let's do it this way um are uh, there we go so they are wait used to make there we go so it's got to have these awakened draconium blocks under it right and I have not made any Awakened Draconium. However, I did charge up some Awakened Draconium. But to make the Awakened Draconium, 
we need um well where do i have the tablet um no is it in my bag we can make it real quick if not okay let's make the tablet up real quick uh draconic evolution tablet where are you this one right here i thought i made this already but maybe i didn't okay so i've got to make awaken draconium so we go to the index and scroll 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 and we have awaken draconium here we go so if i remember correctly we have to make uh four of these okay hold on uh you've been saying the interaction of draconium with various methods in certain state you've discovered a method to bring out the true power of draconium using a complex ritual and false intro see the dragon heart page for details okay so this page right here uh drop dragon heart on the ground and activate it with the explosion that's super simple drop four to 16 draconic cores that's what we need to make it's one per that we need to make so we need 16 draconic cores i did not check to see how possible this was um so this we're gonna about to find out together i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna need more nether stars or not uh draconic core there you go diamonds glowing mangaloy and draconium okay oh blue gems that is from neptune so we still have to get there so we're not quite there yet but we're very close we are very very close let's take a look at our map real quick and see what level neptune is because right now we're at jupiter at tier four we haven't gone there yet tier five for saturn tier six and tier seven net for neptune so we're a little bit a little bit away but not too bad uh not so bad that we can't get there pretty pretty soon and what i'll probably start doing is getting a lot of that stuff done in the meantime but i did want to check on this guy because a wyvern core oh is made with draconic cores okay so i still need those so we're not quite there yet but we can go set up our menencio farm and i oh i can't even 10 10 10 my seeds ah oh, i feel like it's such an empty finish um because i really wanted to get those planted and stuff but can i put the book in here can i no won't well, let me do that that would have been kind of cool though um so we'll just put you in here like that i know i had one somewhere i don't know what i did with it but we've got the nether star seeds and i did actually set up a farm for uh Minicio as well as the nether star seeds but i obviously can't plant them quite yet so i'm gonna go 10 10 10 those and get this set up and well i a power is the other thing i wanted to do i'm gonna do a time check i'm gonna go set up the farm real quick and once i'm done doing that i'm gonna get back with you guys and see i think we might be at time right now so we'll be right back all right guys so after giving it some thought i i i decided we're at like 35 minutes right now and because i'm only doing two episodes a week i can go ahead and do an, another full hour episode i'm trying to get away from doing these long episodes but i just get so much i want to do and it ends up going a long time but today i did have another plan and i didn't think that all of the batania stuff was going to take so long <clears throat> And so I was going to kind of not do that, but now I've decided to do it. And so I'm already prepping and ready because like I told you, when I was in the last millennium, I ran into a power issue recently. And so I've wanted to kind of, you know, start fixing that. So I was thinking probably the best idea would be to get into the big reactors. Right. And so I got the reactor casings and the, um, what do you call it? The reactor glass already started. And as you can see in here, I'm making a whole bunch of graphite bars. So we've got plenty of that to go around. And then all I need to do is grab just a ton of uh, steel. And basically, I'll... Whoa. All right. Well, that should be good. Um, we should be good in this for the sake of uh, making all the reactor cases up like that. that. I mean, I don't know about you, but that looks like I've got plenty. I'm not overly worried about that. Um, I did start up some fused quartz over here to make the reactor glass. You can see that's going right now. And I've probably got plenty of that right there. But, you know, you can never have too much. But the one thing I do need to do is get the uh, the Eulorium fuel rods. So I'm going to need a couple of these. And I've got, like I said, I've got plenty of the steel ingots. I've got plenty of the graphite bars. And lead plating, I didn't look, but I should be able to make plenty of lead 
Um, I don't remember the last time I did it. Um, I haven't crafted any lead in a while, but I can definitely go ahead and start smelting some down in the uh, smeltery. Smelting some down the smeltery. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and start pumping out. I think I got my ingots connected right now. Yes. So then I'll just go ahead and get that all filled up. So that'll start pumping out some lead for me. And then I can make the plates. But the biggest thing is this guy right... Where'd you go? Oh, I switched off of it. Uh, the big reactors. Apparently in the uh, Yellorium core, which is right there, I need to make this guy. So I'm going to need more lead plates, uranium ingots, and uh, palladium. So I was looking at uranium ingots, right? Now I've got uranium. So I could just, you know, throw it in the smelter like so. And I should be able to get a ton of it, right? Because it comes from extra planets. But then I was kind of looking around and I noticed if I induction smelt with some cinnabar, I can actually get four per. Now, I don't have a lot as it is right now. I've only got uh, 18 of them. So 18 times four would give me 40... Uh, uh, wow, I can't even do math right now. Um, 40, and then 4 times is what? Uh, 32, so 72. That would give me 72, and there's 3 per, so that would give me roughly 20 some odd, and I want more than that. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and grab ourselves a couple pedestals, because I, I thought I made some extra. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. I thought I had. Um, we're going to grab two pedestals. And we are going to grab two uh, charms. Um, okay, there we go. And we are going to take a real quick trip to Jupiter. Because the other part of that, which I didn't even show, um, is uh, palladium. And I believe that was what the one that was on uh, Jupiter. So yeah, to make this guy, I'm going to need two pieces of palladium. And palladium comes from the Jupiter ore. Uh, there it is right there. The Jupiter Palladium Ore. And fortunately, the same rocket ship that took me to way over there, uh, Mercury, is the same one I could take to Jupiter. So I don't have to make a new one. But let me double check to make sure how my oxygen and stuff is looking. That one's a little low. That one's full. Let us, let's fill up all our tanks just, just to make sure. All right. And let me grab that partially empty one. And do that. There we go. And you. Oh, come on. There we go. You. And you. There we go. So now all four of those tank, all four of those tanks are full, and I've still got a little bit. Not 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 a lot left, but still a little bit left in there. So that should be more than enough oxygen to go get what we need. And I'll go ahead and put these guys right back up here. And then I can also look for some uranium while we're there. I did find a little in the mining world, but I've noticed that there are some on the plants. You know what? Let me go get a couple of dev nulls too, because I'm going to run into some rocks on Jupiter. So I'm not going to spend my time this time looking for um, the dungeons, just because I'm really concentrating on this right now. So... Let us, let's make another real quick. Uh, let's see how many, one, we'll make four. Make sure that that's enough. Cause I just, I hate the excess, I really do. And let us make sure that this still is getting fuel, it should be, cool. Which means my rocket ship here should still be getting fuel. Double check, full up. Uh, I've got my pedestals, I've got my char, ooh. Y'all see what I almost did there? I almost took off without setting this guy. All right. Um, I guess I'll just set it up. Well, you know, what? I'll set it right down here because why not? There you go. It doesn't really matter where I return to. I don't have to return to this platform every single time. So while well, doing... Trying to run around in first or like third person point of view is really difficult sometimes. I never do it, so. But anyways, off to Jupiter. Might as well knock out. Oh, that is too funny. 
That is too funny. I had the charm in my hand. So it teleported me with the rocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I pick this back up? Is this going to be glitched out? Nope, I got it. Okay, cool. That was too funny. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it teleported me with the rocket. That's awesome. All right, let's check to see if it's got fuel. Okay, it still has fuel. All right, cool. And we are going to take off and head to Jupiter. Go get some palladium and hopefully find some redstone. I did bring, right? I don't, yes, my silk touch pickaxe because I want to get some of the redstone to get the cinnabar. So we're going to go right now. We'll be right back. All right, I do like watching going in with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I think this is Jupiter. Oh, no, Jupiter is way out here. Okay. And let us go. Now, there is something else I believe we can make with um, Palladium that I've been wanting to make. The Mars Dungeon is Mars. That's funny. Um, what the heck is all this? What are all these floating blocks about? All right. Oh, let me change my perspective because I really hate it. Oh, lightning storms. I remember this. This is like the perfect place to set up my lightning rod for power. Oh, so doing it. Whoa, there is tons of lightning. We are so going back and setting up a lightning rod down here to pump power back home. That is so about to happen too. I totally forgot about that. I remembered one of these planets did it. But it had been so long since I'd had to think about it that, well, I hadn't thought about it. All right. I wonder what's all the, what's up with all the rocks up in the air? All right. So where shall we? Let's just go right here. And just put our lovely pedestal down right here. Like uh, so. And put you on there. Good. And let's bind this right here. Good. And let's go set this one up somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it right now. I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I want to just make a second level of this and then I go up a little higher or if I might make a bigger plate right here. But for right now, let's see. We'll put you over here. Oh, you know, we can just put them in the middle. We can just, they don't have to be spaced out. I can just put you right there. Ooh, that's so crooked. I That's going to bother me, but it's okay. So pop you out. Put in some of this Jupiter surface rock and bingo bango. We now have it. All right. And while I'm doing that, let's set up our dev nulls. Like so. Good. Like that. Good. And <coughs> come on. There you go. And like that. Cool. <coughs> Pardon my cough. And back to Jupiter we go. Oh, you know what? I should have taken that. Oh, I'll set it up later. I'm more curious about finding palladium. And, oh, and so this one's going to show you. So, um, I forget the name of it. Um, is it computer? Uh, mining. It's a mining computer. It's very distinctive looking, so I should be able to find it pretty easily. I hate when I have to search like this and don't know exactly where it's at. Um, it's a very distinctive looking computer. Is that it? Mining drill? No, oh, that might be it. No, that's not it. Oh, uh, what is it called? It like, it covers huge areas. Oh, uh, what is it called? Um. Uh, oh, palladium. There we go. Palladium ingot. Infinity ingot. Okay, palladium ingot. Oh, wait. No, you're used for... I'm going to find it this way. There it is. Nope, that's a robot. Is that it? Nope, that's a fuel loader. Presser. Come on. I'm going to find this stupid thing. pretty sure what is that metal mesh floor interesting 
No, I don't need the advanced fuel loader. It's not the robot. It's like a mining computer. Oh, I'll find it. So apparently it wasn't the palladium that that was used for. But anyways, there's a whole... There's so Oh! You know what I think it was? I think it might be... Is it the ME? ME controller? Was that it? ME controller? Was that the one I needed the palladium for? No. Um... It was something applied, maybe. I know there was another one, but I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm thinking as I'm going right now. Oh, no, it's Mercury Ingots I needed for that, which we got. Ooh, we can start doing applied energetics now. Oh, I I just got super, super excited. I just got super excited by that. Is that Palladium? Yes, it is. All right, cool. So we're looking for Redstone, and we're looking for Palladium. And let's just go down. Oh, I should have brought my other armor. My other armor lets me vein mine like insane amounts. All right, palladium, got you. Some of this is probably going to be tin because tin's white too, but whatever. It seems to be very rich in palladium, which is cool. And I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again. Is that copper? Yeah. Is that tin? No, that is that. Okay. So we're getting this stuff, and then I need to go back to the mining dimension because I've already got 27 of those, which should be good. I only need a couple just to get started. I do want to bring that lightning rod back, though. Definitely want to bring that lightning rod back. There it is. Oh, no, that's the Mars dungeon. Oh, where did I? Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, remember to mark this. Remember to mark. Almost forgot to do that. Ah, wrong one. There we go. Uh, portal. There we go. Now you're marked. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing back the lightning rod and uh, getting some stored power there. But let us go ahead and get the palladium. Why aren't you cooking? Cook. You're not cooking. Why aren't you cooking? I don't know. But let's get this palladium cooked up. Where did my... Oh, it's over there. Why aren't you cooking? Does it not have a registry for that? Oh, I, ooh, I can do it in this one. This one's super fast now. There we go. Boop. Got the palladium. Cool. I should have or doubled that, but whatever. Um, oh, that's gravel. That's you. Put you away real quick. All right, cool. So now we are heading to the mining world. So I can go get a ton of redstone. Where you at? There you are. With my... Uh, Silk Touch Pickaxe, and then we should be able to get some slag. So I'm probably going to stop recording pretty soon. Um, I just like to share some of the stuff with you guys, but I don't need to share everything with you guys or just get kind of boring. So, all right. So yeah, I'm going to go around and get a ton of redstone and try to make as much red slag as possible. And then I'm also going to be searching for uranium. I'm not 100% sure where the best location to find uranium is. But at least I can get some started. So I'll be back once I get enough redstone and enough rich like. All right, guys. So we're back. And I made some miscalculations when it came to making this big reactor. I totally, totally forgot about some of the other components that we needed for the uh, big reactor. So I made a couple of them. And then I got to one and I was like, oh sad day if i look up big reactors real quick big reactors all right i i've already made the um the power port i've already made a couple of the access ports right i'm getting ready to make the reactor control rod when i realized i still have to make the reactor control now fortunately early in today's episode we got our imperio uh going the only problem is this is demon steel of the third magnitude which translates into, I need four of these, which means I'm gonna need 12 of the second magnitude, which means I'm gonna need 36 of the first magnitude. And to make that, I need to grab out my metallurgic infusers, make up a whole bunch of diamond dust and 36 temperio essence. So as you can see, 
I am currently in the process of doing just that. All right, guys, so I had to show you this because, well, I think I finally did something creative and I just hope it works. So as you can see, I've got a whole field of Minicio here. All four of them are Minicio. And you see things in the background. Well, I'm gonna talk about it while I finish putting up. Why can't I, why? Why won't, who the? Oh, this is a jungle with plank. Oh my goodness, no, I didn't just do that. Okay, so I gotta figure out which ones are jungle with plank. Anyways, I've been trying to figure out a way to be able to create this uh, Temperio as fast as possible and not have to stand over it and do like I've been doing. I can't believe I just did this. Jungle planks, jungle planks, jungle planks, all the planks. Yeah, so I've been trying to figure out how to create this Temperio as fast as possible. And, oh my gosh, let's just do this. Let's do this. Did it all come off? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. So I meant to put irrigations in all these because the whole point is that I'm trying to like, oh, that's an irrigation job. I can put that in. All right. To create all this as fast as possible, if that makes any sense. And so I busted out those crafters that I had made for the cobblestone. And I was like, I wonder if these will work. So I dropped in my weak infusion stone and then started pumping in the Menincio. And if you watch, as the Menincio goes in, it creates that one. And this one pipes over to here and then creates that one and that one. And all the way down until it gets this next Zavikio in just a second. Come on, get the Zavikio. Hurry up. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, anyways, it's creating Tempirio automatically for me from these big fields. And so now I'm trying to set these up so I have as much water as possible on these things to get this Minicio to grow as fast as possible. And apparently I made a mistake and put the wrong things on here. So I'm going to go grab those and we're going to see how this is going. This has only been running for a couple minutes, but I, I was like, I've tried auto crafting before. I tried the auto workbench and the auto crafting table. And I've now figured out actually how to get those things to work. So that's a good thing. I have figured out how to get those things to work. Unfortunately... There they are. Get that out of here. I don't need two stacks. Unfortunately, um, it just it was just too much of a hassle. And when I realized that these crafters would do the same job, I was so excited because now I can just mass produce this stuff when I'm not on. Because as I kind of told you before, I'm not playing nearly as much as I have been um, in the past. And that might change. I might be able to get back into it a little bit more depending on how my schedule adjusts for work and, you know, being in the off season and stuff. But I also told you it kind of varies on the new channel that I'm creating and all that. So anyways, I'm super excited about this because it's like totally a side point there. Um, I now can like start pumping out and I don't know. You guys tell me, I don't know if there's a difference of having like one sprinkler or having like 20 sprinklers but i figure i'm going for the max here like if 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 it's possible i'm getting it right now i'm maxing this thing out i am putting sprinklers everywhere i can and hopefully i think i'm gonna run out of sprinklers ah i'm short by like one two three that's okay for right now oh i'm short by quite a few okay um but if we can start pumping out this Minicio as fast as possible, look how much it's pushing out with all those. Oh, that's awesome. That is putting a ton more out than it was. And this is getting a whole bunch of, oh, this might be good things. I, I now know that that does make a difference. And so I'm going to go get more sprinklers. But I'm not going to do that right now because right now, I keep forgetting. I have a portal right there and I always run back down to this one. I'm going to make more sprinklers, but we're going to go see how much Zavikio I have made in just the last couple minutes and see if all this was worthwhile. You notice I left it red because I wanted to see it. We have 24, our Temperio, 24. 
That is almost enough. Almost enough for what we need. So I'm going to go back over here. I did set up the metallurgy confusers and I've already started making a couple. I've got them all filled with the diamond dust. I thought it was going to take a while, but it actually doesn't take them long at all. And we're going to need, I think, 36, I think is what I said, to make that controller. And then I'll finally be able to finish that power station that's just floating there right now. Um, let's see, how many are we going to end up with? I need to shift it over. Ran out of it. Yeah, these things take a lot of diamond, actually. Um, it's like 10 diamond per is what it does. And so, oh, hey, that was an achievement. Awesome. Well, how about this one? Oh, cool. And I need. Oh, hold on. And I just need two more. And tier two. Ha 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 Let me see if I got him yet. Oh, only one there. It's almost there. It's almost there. I literally just need one more. I don't want to take it out of here because I want it to go. There we go. I wanted to make sure it goes back into that one. I know that I think there's a way to lock them so things can't come out, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the case or not. So I don't want to chance it right now. And I just want to leave that one in there. Oh, no, wait. I need one. Oh. Come on, make another one quickly. Make another one. I know this is like time consuming, but at least I can make. Oh, yes, we're going to make you. We're going to get you done. We are going to get you done. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to wait for this last one. I don't know how long I'm going to take. It takes. How? Oh, it looks like it takes about a minute per Temperio. So that means 60 an hour. So when I come back tomorrow, I should have almost 250 Temperio, which would be awesome. Um, we'll, we'll see. That's a 24 hour period is what I'm getting at. Uh, it's, it's not the fastest, but it's the fastest way I could figure how to auto craft them. And I'm totally content with the way it's set up. I'm totally content with what it's doing. I just, you know, if it was a little faster, if I could figure out a way to make it a little faster, maybe when I get into applied energistics, I'll be able to make it a little bit faster. Um, basically, cause I know I'm probably going to need more of this, um, demon steel. I just, I just have a feeling I, I'm going to need more of this demon steel. And if that's the case, then doing it with applied energetic shouldn't be too bad. Um, it would basically just pump in 10 diamonds into a pulverizer, then over to these and then pump in the Temperio. So I think, I think we should be able to do that with applied energistics, but you know, we'll see. But I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Let me go get the rest of my big reactor stuff so we can put these things together. And I still have to make um, the... Uh, okay, so I've got the two ports right there. I've got the power outlet right there. I think I have a dimensional transceiver left in here. I do. Got that right there. And then at uh, big reactor, um, I've got some reactor glass. Let's, let's make a little more of the reactor glass. Uh, do I need more of the casings? I do. No, I already had a whole bunch of... Oh, that what I meant to do, but whatever. All right, reactor glass. There we go. Um, I only need like a handful. That should be more than enough. Now, I need to make these guys, which are not difficult at all. Um, we're going to need seven... Well, let's see how many of these I can make. Um, these guys that I make... Okay, I got 13 of them. I think, is it the lead that I'm short of? Three. It must be the lead plates, or it might be the palladium. Ooh, I'm not sure. Uh, Epic reactors. Which one am I short? It's the palladium I'm short of. Okay, so I got to go make more of that. But at least I can get this thing started uh, with almost two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Temperio should be done. There it is. All right, cool. So I can go make that. I can make the control. So at least we can get this thing started. We can get this up and running. And then I can spend a lot more time off camera really completing the task. So there we go. So there's the two. And now third magnitude. Got it. Awesome. Now I should be able to make that controller right there like that got it awesome 
And then I'm gonna need a chest and some Yalorium. Let's just grab all of this. All right, and a chest and some item ducks. Oh, not item duck, conduit. Wow, I still got all those old item ducks. I totally forgot about all this. All right, you, you, okay. I think, I think we should be good to go. Let us see. So if I remember correctly, I just put the controller like right here. Right? Cool. And then for right now, it looks like I'm just going to have, oh, I forgot to make, ha, I made the uranium rods and forgot to make the, the top parts. Um, what was I trying to make? Oh yeah. The, the top of them, uh, big reactors. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Here we go. It was a case since I was missing for those. Okay. So one, two for right now. Although I'm not going to be able to make two full ones. So it's actually just going to be one. But I'll I'll build and expand on it after, after the episode. So <laughs> let's see. You go right there. You go right there. All right. So. Oh, I still didn't make them. What is going on in my head right now? Ay, yeah, yeah. I I know what I'm doing here. All right, there we go. There's the 13 of them. And like I said, I'll make more later. But right now, I just want to get this up and running. So. Minimum reactor. Oh, look at that. I, I, I achieved an accomplishment without even trying to. I've actually done a couple of those today, which is actually kind of cool. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, cool. So we've got that. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead, just for the time being right now, we're gonna make that my power port. And over here, my in and out, right? Does that sound right? Sounds right to me. In and out, power port, okay. So you're gonna be right there and right there. And we're gonna set that the outlet mode, okay? And you go right there. And that is a complete structure. I did it right, I did it right. Okay, now we're gonna put a chest right here. And... Oh, this is interesting. I, I've never tried doing this before. So we're doing that, okay. So this is gonna be insert on green, okay? This is gonna be extract on brown. This is gonna be in and out. It's gonna be insert on brown, extract on green. And if I did all that right, the Yellowium should go right in, awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it up. Let's see how much power I'm making right now. Um, I'm gonna make it ideal, but right now we're already up to 15,000. Okay, I'm gonna do one other fun thing because I have so much diamond right now and I know it's a decent um, conduit, I guess is the word I'm looking for, uh, for cooling. So we're just gonna make a whole bunch of diamond blocks like this. I'm not, this is all gonna change, but I just wanna make this thing as efficient as possible right now. I don't know exactly how much I need, it's seven levels high. I just wanna make sure I have enough. And it all comes down to it, I just wanna make sure I have enough. We'll put you guys away for just a minute. I need the transceiver. And I should just put all that your alarm in there. I don't need the conduit anymore. I don't need the chest. All right. My builder's wand. Where you at? There you are. All right. Let's see if I can do this. So what's it up to? Just before I add any of the cooling, I always like to see 16,000 RF per tick. Not bad. It's going to get much better and it's going to get way bigger. But I want to try this out and just see. I don't know if it has to be the whole thing or if it's just surrounding it. I'm gonna fill this whole thing just because I think it'd be kind of cool to have a diamond filled reactor. All right. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, where's the 
where's my hole? There it is. All right, diamond filled reactor. How much power do you put out now? But just the one, just the one right now. Oh, that's quite a bit more. Oh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. Now let us put our dimensional transceiver right over here and set this thing for all three. I just do that every time. And this is going to be reactor like that. All right. And I just put it on the list too, just because, and then Let's see if they're all good to go. Okay, so this one I haven't added the other two on, so I need to add Jupiter to both of them and the reactor to both of them. All right, and then my other power source is in the last millennium, and I should not need or want for power for a while. We'll see. I don't know. But uh, there's a transceiver around here somewhere. Oh, you know what? No, it's plugged in over here. That's where it's at. There it is. All right, so we're going to add Jupiter and Saturn to this one. Oh, Jupiter was already added. I needed to add the reactor. All right. Now, power galore. These shouldn't even really get used much anymore. I don't know. But we have some power. A couple thousand RF. And then once I go get more uranium, I'll be able to make more and more palladium. Oh, actually, I have more uranium. I need to make more palladium. Um, I just want to go double check it and just see exactly how much it's putting out now that it's running. 34,000 RF per tick. Not huge. Not huge at all. Um, but nice. Nice nonetheless. And I'm seeing that everything is staying cool. So then I can just start changing the... Oh! It just kicked up. Oh, the temperature's going up, and so it makes it a little more efficient. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's going to be so nice. I don't know if I have to have a conduit running to this. Because if you, it only says 250,000. Maybe I... Let me try an energy conduit. Just to see. Um, while we're finishing this up together. Oh, my God, guys. This is... This episode has taken me quite a while because there was a lot of issues in the meantime. But uh, let's see. Right there. And right there. No, it still says. I don't know. Is it? Why am I got dingle dangles? Oh, it's the iron I keep picking up from over there. I, it looks like it. I think it's good. Um, receiving from reactor home in last millennium and not receiving from Jupiter. Let me change that just for Jupiter receiving. There we go. Um, sending. It's got to be working. It, it, it's it's got to be. It, everything looks good. 32,000 R or 42,000 R per tick. Not horrible. Um, I think I can probably reduce that just by playing with this right here. Um, I know if you insert the rod a little bit and then I can start playing with that, but I'll do that off camera. Yeah, that power's going way down. I just need to figure out what the max is on this thing. Let's try 50. I guess we can do that together. I haven't done big reactors in a really, really long time and it's still relative. I don't want to say new to me, but it's relatively kind of new to me. In the sense that I haven't used them very much. The very first time I ever used them was in uh, Sky Factory 3. And I had some pretty big ones with the turbines and stuff like that. But I haven't used them in a long time. Okay, that only took me to 20. Will that get me back up to like 45? I just want to use as little fuel as possible. And I may not be able to. I may have to run it at max just to get all that power. Yeah, it looks like i got to run it at max. I'll just leave it at max. I've got plenty of Eulorium for days, so let me put the rest of that Eulorium in here. Oh my goodness, it's already gone through 15 ingots. Holy cow, I did not expect it to be going through that much. Nine ingots per block. 
but you're totally full up. Okay, cool. So, well, we got power. We got a decent amount of power now. Uh, we'll probably end up getting more as time goes on, but for the time being, this is what we got. And guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I hope, you know, if anything, I hope that you like the fact that we're, well, about two seconds away done from beta. I didn't finish it. I did not finish beta, and that's going to bother me because it's super simple. It's just making all the carrots. Uh, four carrot seeds, eight carrot seeds. Let's check them out real quick. Let's check them out. Carrot seeds. Four carat. Okay, it's a mutation. Oh, no. We'll do those. I'll probably do those off camera. It's on a block of coal, a block of iron, a block of gold. I mean, it's just regular carrot seeds, which are made with quartz shards and carrot seeds. You should try planting this on different ores and ore blocks. Oh, regular carrot seeds with peridite. Oh, that's interesting. Not quite what I was expecting. I mean, sure, it makes sense, but so those are made regular carrot seeds and parrot. Give me carrot seeds. Yeah, I think we might do that next episode. I'll get it all uh, set up and ready to go and just knock that out really quick like and yeah, I, I'm so excited right now. I, I'm excited that we were able to finish, for the most part, finish beta. And I can really start looking at other stuff. I knew we needed power and being able to accomplish that in a decent amount of time, not too long amount of time, was pretty good. So we're at about an hour now in the episode. So I think it's about time to wrap it up. Um, yeah. So guys, if you're enjoying, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more like this, what is in here? Why aren't you? What's going on? Why aren't you draining out? There's something else weird in here. There's always something weird. Always. Without fail. Oh, there's something in the table. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, too, I'm at a loss for words. We got our Temperio going. See, we're already up to eight, so that's going to be awesome. We've got our reactor going. That's awesome. We've got bra or beta done. That was awesome. So I say, all in all, it was a pretty productive day. And guys, it's probably going to be choppy because I'm realizing how much I'm kind of in and out today and trying to get all this stuff done. In all honesty, it was nothing more than just finish the Batania stuff and get that big reactor done. But in real time. And, you know, in the middle of I have to leave and sometimes like that, it's been almost six hours today from the start to the finish. So I, I don't know how much editing is going into this, but I, I'm glad that you guys are sticking with me. And I really do uh, love you guys' comments and your feedback. And I do appreciate everything you guys are telling me. And I'm getting prepped and ready for a lot of stuff. Next is going to be trying to get to Neptune. So we are sorry, Neptune or Uranus. One of them, I think it was Neptune to get the blue gems so we can get going in the Draconic Evolution stuff. So anyways, guys, if you guys are enjoying, please hit that like or the thumbs up. And if you have any comments for me, questions, comments, concerns, all that stuff, you know, hit up the comments. I always get back to you. Not always, but most of the time I do get back to you. And until next time, guys, I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace. Um.